Hey everybody, Mitchell here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Halloween Horror Nights merchandise as well as a sneak preview of some of the things that are already being set up at Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights. Inside the Five and Dime store at Universal Studios, you can see the 2021 preview merchandise. Just by taking a quick look at the merchandise, it's pretty clear that the Universal Monsters are coming back to Halloween Horror Nights 2021. And I don't know about you, but I've always been a huge fan of the classic Universal Monsters. I really like this shirt's design, and honestly it's not that bad of a price, $30. And here's a look at the Haunting of Hill House merchandise. I am so excited for this house. This show was incredible. So spooky, so scary. And inside this merchandise store, you can also find these Halloween Horror Night statues. These things are so unique, I've never seen them before, and I am obsessed. Inside this merchandise store, you can also find these action figures that are themed after the classic Universal Monsters. It is super exciting that the classic Universal Monsters are getting such recognition inside the parks. And right now, there's speculation that the new Universal Park that they're building in Orlando is going to have a section dedicated to the Universal Classic Monsters. And here's a look at the standard 2021 Halloween Horror Night shirt with a picture of Jack saying, I'm back on the very back of the shirt. Looks pretty stylish. I might have to get it. Across the street from that merchandise store I was just in is the Williams of Hollywood. This is a prop store that sells universal props actually used in the park. And if you remember years past, there's a little Easter egg hunt where you hunt for these scarecrows around the park, and they're actually selling some of the scarecrows used in Universal Studios. They're also selling things used in the park during Mardi Gras. If you're a diehard fan of the parks, you definitely have to come to the store because almost all of the things in here were used in the parks and they're all for sale. This chair, for example, was used in the 2020 Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store in the Beetlejuice section. Do you recognize it? Well, it's for sale if you would like to buy it. And this scarecrow was used in the Irish merchandise store for Halloween Horror Nights. This thing has so much detail on it, it's no wonder they're so expensive. And last but not least, we have my favorite scarecrow. It's a pirate scarecrow used in the Spongebob merchandise store. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, this last part is definitely for you. These are empty potion bottles used in the Apothecary window display in Diagon Alley. How cool is that? And just like I said at the beginning of this video guys, I have a special treat for you. If you've been to Halloween Horror Nights in years past, you might recognize what this is. This is the first sign of the stage that will be built for Halloween Horror Nights. I cannot believe construction has already started. Let's go. I am so, so ready for this year. The stage that's being built right here can be seen right across from the Mummy attraction and if you want to see more like this, keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be more coming in weeks to come. And as always, thank you so much for watching today's video and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Peace!